Do you feel tired sometimes? Like life is getting the better of you? That you're outnumbered or be outmaneuvered, whether it's at work or, or a challenge in your family? That sense that there's just nothing left in the gas tank. And how am I going to keep moving forward? Well, it turns out that this week, in the midst of the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah, is an approach to those challenges that can work whether you're Jewish or not, whether you believe in God or not, but a deep spiritual insight about the fact that we have within us, whoever we are and wherever we are, more capacity, more ability to accomplish more, to burn brighter, to be stronger, not only than other people may see, but more than we often give ourselves credit for. Go back in time to that ancient story more than 2,000 years ago when a little untrained army managed to outmaneuver and succeed against a massive imperial force. Or, as the story was told centuries later, how a little bit of oil lasted longer than any reasonable expectation. How there's actually more within the containers of energy we seek, including our own hearts and minds, than we often remember or allow ourselves to believe. But that when we do, miracles can happen. And you don't have to believe in God to believe in those miracles. You simply have to believe that there is more to life than first meets the eye. And Hanukkah is a reminder of that. And here's a ritual, one actually I'm just playing with, making up this year, that can actually work to help us get in touch with that. It's called a Hanukkah diary. You see, on each night of the festival, we add candles. We start with one candle, then two candles, all the way through eight candles, getting brighter and brighter. Well, what if that's how we came to treat ourselves? Starting with one thing and tapping in more and more each night to our own inner strength and energy. Here's how you can do it. Get a hold of a scrap of paper or one of those notebooks that people seem to be carrying around a lot these days and pick a run of eight nights. And on the first night, write something down that you would love to be able to do or make happen in your life. Don't worry if you can immediately do it. Just after you write it down, add one thing that you can do to move yourself in that direction. And the next night, be a little bolder a little brighter, like the Hanukkah lights are a little brighter. Another thing that you would love to be able to pull off, to go beyond your current circumstances, and one thing you can do to move yourself in that direction, do that eight nights in a row. And then maybe once a week, every week thereafter. Will everything that you've written down come true? Probably not. But here's what we know. Your willingness to write down your dreams and commit to one concrete action to move you in the direction of achieving any one of them will make all of them that much more likely to occur. We are the change we've been waiting for. The Maccabees, the heroes of the Hanukkah story, knew that thousands of years ago. And every generation which celebrates this story has known it its own way since. Now it's our turn.